now when people try to explain like or talk about dark web they already say that there is nothing but illegal content which is actually isn't true because they have no idea what dark web is uh, anyway in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how you can access it on your ios device or android and if that sounds interesting let's get into the video right now audio jungle Now, first of all, dark web isn't superstitious as dread people make it out to be. In fact, dark web, in, to explain it to you in, in simple terms, let's imagine the total internet being 100%, but you can only access 4% of it, and that is Google, Facebook, maybe WhatsApp, maybe Quora, as you can see here, but the 96% of it is hidden. So that's dark web. It isn't actually illegal as most of the people say. And uh, in order to access it, it is so simple. I'm going to be telling you the advantages, guys. Make sure that you watch full video. So in order to access it on iOS, all you just need to do is to go to your app store. Okay, it is loading my internet is not that strong so let's just wait for it it is loading okay and uh, you search for this app it is called toe or oh, an only on browser you can't access it without an only on browser so where is it where is it you can get this one you can get this one whatever you get but as long as you get the browser me i've already installed i'm gonna be linking each and every browser you can use in the description please make sure that you check it out but whatever browser you get here me i've already installed one let me show it to you it is called on it as you can see you can also search for it it is already there it is called on it onion browser all right it is loading I said my internet is a bit slow this is it as you can see such anonymously this is the one I'm also going to leave a link in the description it is amazing it has got a 4.8 rating which is amazing people are really liking it as you can see in the reviews really so good so before we go any further I just wanted to show you something I have some links here just to show you that these some of these things are not accessible on our ordinary browser so these are some of the links as you can see this is Facebook a Facebook link from dark web when you click it it doesn't show anything as you can see let's try another one I've got here another link from again as you can see it doesn't show anything it doesn't show anything you see you see on safari this is the new york times official dark website as you can see when you click even if i click fresh it doesn't show anything every every url in dark web it it ends with dot onion you should also take a note about that every url from dark web it ends with dot onion so as you can see you can't access it on browser or any browser you can't on our ordinary browsers so even if you get the link maybe linking you to a dark web you can't access it but actually that isn't true when you go to your sorry it is loading to your on it or or toe okay as you can see it is connecting yeah Actually, I wrote an interesting article showing you the advantages of using Tor over VPNs. Again, link is going to be in the description. I don't want to explain that. I already wrote a great article about this. But this work like for anonymity. It is good for anonymity. Just in case you don't want to be tracked by the government or something. Or any hackers. As you can see, when... 
you open it connects you to over four nodes or four four servers three servers here as you can see the ipad it is connected to poland to a server in poland a node in poland a node in romania a node in netherlands then connected to a internet so it makes it so hard for even governments to track backtrack everything so it is so difficult as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and and test these these what these websites okay this is the new york times it failed they're already in notes i have them in my notes so this is the new york times official page actually you can send them maybe if you have some news you want to send them and you don't want to be backtracked you can use this you can use this so as you can see this is the new york times official dark web website as you can see here it loads very well man this is so amazing so we've just accessed dark web which is amazing so cool how about that we are accessing dark web here and we are on the new york times official website and uh, there are so many links here I'm gonna be leaving them in the description guys and there is this one you can send mails maybe to the government if in case you don't wanna be tracked or something you can use this mail to talk send an email to someone in case you don't wanna be tracked or you wanna you have some impo important information you wanna share maybe to the government or anyone and you don't wanna be backtracked so this is the amazing thing so guys that is how you can access you can access actually dark web and as you can see even the browser it has maybe let's try let me try and show you the the like the search engine they use let's say we want to search ss it isn't there but they are using duckduck.go which is amazing it doesn't track anything from you it doesn't even store cookies from you it doesn't even have logins man this is so amazing it doesn't have anything for you so restore anything from you maybe cookies or checks as you can see this is the duckduck.com website so in case you wanna be anonymous it isn't only for hackers as many people say in case you want to be anonymous don't want to be tracked you love privacy you can use this this is what i always use maybe sometimes but anyway this is dark web and as you can see every url let me try and see if i can go to the home page let me go to the home page let me I wanted to go to the home page so this is the home page as you can see every URL ends dot onion with dot onion I want to show you I want to show you here let me try maybe proton mail as you can see it it is proton iroca xow dot onion so it doesn't end with dot com or dot net dot something so most of these websites are inaccessible with for for hours maybe safari chromes or anything but as long as you get the browser this browser you'll be able to access it them and the only downside here you get is that the internet is gonna be so slow since you're connected to over three servers it's actually three servers just like how you see vpns vpn you're connected to over maybe one server or one node but here you're connected to over three servers and the internet is a bit so slow so you can't stream netflix on it so you just be able to maybe br browse anonymously without worrying about being tracked by the government or something but anyway if you want to know the advantages of using tor over vpn i already written a great article explaining about tor this this 
very browser you're seeing here and uh, also if you think this video was informative please leave me a comment and also subscribe like share to a friend and with that say till next time bye bye thanks for watching hope this video was informative thanks